What's the do, you guys? It is your girl, Fallon Favors. Yes, back again for another episode of the Baby Mama Chronicles. Thank you so much for joining me once again. If this is your first time here, welcome. You are now an official member of the BM gang. Come on in, come on in. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share. I want to make sure you stay tapped in. Anytime I drop anything new, I want you to be the first to see it, okay? You are now one of my good girlfriends, BM gang. Let's get it. Okay, you guys, so we're going to do another Real Talk video. And you know my Real Talks are straight from the hip off the cuff, no notes, we just shooting the ish back and forth, talk I talk back, right? So today we're gonna be talking about guys posting their girl, they woman, they wifey, whatever, on social media. Ooh, ooh. It can be a very sticky subject. It can be a very sticky topic. And you know, as I've said in a lot of my other videos where I talk about social media, social media is, is such a major component of our lives now. If our mamas and our daddies is using it and they didn't even grow up in the era of the internet or digital media or technology, if they're using it, if our children are using it, if they were born into it before a baby even learns how to walk, they know how to maybe pose for a picture or see their reflection in a phone. You know what I'm saying? Like this literally is the way that we live. This is literally the way that we interface with each other day to day. So we cannot ignore the significance as it pertains to how we use it and how we use it between each other. There is intention behind what we post on social media. Media. There is intention with the way that we use social media. You could be somebody who does not like to use social media for anything personal. You could be somebody that only wants to use social media to, um, you know, brand yourself or to uh, promote your business, to sell a service, sell a product. You know what I'm saying? You could have, or you could be somebody who doesn't want to share their business, whatever their line of work is. It may not be something that you're using social media for. You may just want to use it to keep up with family that lives out of state or out of the country. And so I think that first we have to recognize that, yes, this is a regular part of our lives. We all know that. And I think we have to also admit to ourselves, ladies and gents, that when it comes to relationships, okay, Social media has a great effect on how we interface in our relationships, right? And it's kind of uncharted territory because territory because we we don't know what it what it means to what we actually do. I was about to say we don't know what it means to post or not post somebody. We actually do. We're going to talk about it. But we don't really know how to maneuver in this in this new arena because this is our first time doing it. We are the first generation to ever do it and so we're kind of figuring it out as we go. But Okay, this is why we're here. I feel like it's very telling when a man chooses not to post their women, their woman on social media. Okay, and so I have a couple of theories as to why I'm gonna take a drink first. So first and foremost, when we talk about social media, right, it could be a scary place for a man in a relationship. And I say that because, I mean, and of course it could be vice versa, but I'm speaking off of what I think off the top of my head, right? The majority. When men log on to social media, there are so many <laughs> women on social media today, okay? A lot of other, you know, podcasts that I watch and different things like that have brought up really great points about, you know, when our grandparents and stuff like that, right? When they were dating or courting each other or, you know, figuring out who they wanted to entertain to potentially be a long-term partner, their pool of people was very, very small, okay? It was not even close to the access that men have today in the palm of their hand to see women all around the world, okay? Back in the day, again, you may have went to the local grocery store, you go to church, the community centers, or the different things that you have in the neighborhood, somebody having a cookout, Everybody know everybody in the neighborhood. Maybe even on the other side of town, you may, you know what I'm saying, a little fly, a little something over on the other side of town, grandpa might have seen back in the day. Now you talking about these men seeing women all around the world and these women are not average looking. These are some of the most beautiful women in the world. And it's no coincidence that, that Instagram is an aesthetic based platform, okay? It's not like Twitter, it's not like Facebook. Um, or, or even TikTok for that matter. Instagram, and now they're trying to, you know, kind of bleed into some other areas and genres of social media. But initially, Instagram was an aesthetic-based platform. So they are going to always push and, and promote 
aesthetically pleasing things. So if you are a beautiful, gorgeous woman, and that could be by your face, your body, your hair, you know, anything that's aesthetically pleasing to the eye, especially from a man's POV and through a man's lens and perspective, because that's pushed away more, quite frankly, you are going to see so much of that on your timeline. And if a man is interested in seeing those kind of images just based on the way that the algorithm works, he's going to continuously see more and more of these women on a daily basis. So based on that fact alone, people that are entering into relationships, people that are already in long-term relationships, kind of navigating their way through social media while concurrently trying to navigate you know having a relationship in this modern era it's a totally different game it's a totally different game okay so ladies i just want to be able to preface it with that so when you start talking about a man sharing his woman on social media there are a lot of different checks and balances i think that may be going through a man's mind with whether or not he wants to do that or not so let's say a man is okay with posting his woman on social media I know you see guys that do post their women and stuff like that. So I think that you have a couple of different kind of men. You have the kind of men who are what you would hope your man is, which is just super proud to show you off. You know what I mean? My woman, if I'm a man speaking, my woman is a part of my life. I love her. This is my homie. This is my this is my friend. This is my lover. This is my everything. And she a part of my life. So that's what I'm going to post. We are here to kind of like share little tidbits and pieces of what we have going on in our lives. And this is what I'm choosing to share because I love her. And this is my, you know, this is my companion. This is my partner, right? And so you have that. And of course, that can go in all different kinds of directions as well, you know, as it pertains to how much that person wants to share. If it's, you know, super personal moments or is it just kind of like, you know, when they at the, the basketball game or they, you know what I mean, just doing different things. They all partying for a friend's birthday or something super casual or is it something more intimate when they have their first baby when... You know what I mean? So that is all going to be subjective. But typically you have like that kind of man who is okay with posting because, hey, this is a part of my life. This is my, mo my woman. I don't care who see it. This is what it is, right? Then I think you have some men that are posting their women on their Instagram profiles because it's the right thing to do. Or it's the thing that they are being maybe potentially coerced into doing by their partner because you know i'm sure men y'all can attest to this let me know in the comments women will definitely pressure you to post them on their social media accounts right i'm sure a lot of men you know would used to be pressure about being in a committed relationship would used to be pressure about potentially getting married putting a ring on it and all of that now there's pressure also to post you know your woman on social media and so, you know, I think that men that may not genuinely feel the desire to do that for whatever reason, you know, a lot of them are being coerced into doing it. So by default, they end up posting pictures of, you know, they girl on social media by way of that. And it's not something that they really want to do. So you do see that. Then you've got the men that will not post the girl that they talking to, their girlfriend, their wife whatever on social media period okay and i think there are some reasons why right so a couple of the reasons i think include you can have a certain kind of man that is just not with putting his private life and personal life on social media okay the way that you can tell that that's not cap is if you go on his social media page there's not going to be anything personal on the page okay he's not going to have any pictures of his family He's not going to have any pictures of his children. He is not going to have, he may not even have any pictures of him and his friends, okay? He may have pictures of him and him only doing what it is that he does on social media. Maybe he has his own business. Maybe he's an artist. Maybe he, um, you know, is just on there just to be on there, just to, just to spectate and look and maybe spy on you, child. Who knows? You know what I mean? But he has nothing else personal on there. He doesn't put it on his story. You can't find any personal information on there. So you really don't have much to say because if his stance is, I don't feel comfortable sharing and divulging my personal business on social media, that is his right, right? And again, that's the way you have those checks and balances because if he doesn't have anything else personal that's on his page, then he's kind of warranted. It kind of makes sense just based on what he feels like his values and you know desires are for navigating through the social media space. Now, if this man got pictures of his great-great-grandma, 
okay? When they went to the family reunion in Texas in 2020, okay? Well, maybe 2019. We already know what was happening in 2020. Let's say he got, you know, pictures from when him and his friends, you know, graduated from the 12th grade, child, and it's a throwback Thursday and all of his, you know, homies and all of that. Mother's Day, he even dropped a Mother's Day post for his mama. He got his kids and his auntie and everybody else on there but you. I don't know, girl. I don't know. If you're okay with posting every other aspect of your personal life, then what would be your issue with posting me and I fit into those categories as well? You got the kind of guys who don't want to post their woman, the woman that they're talking to, their girl, their wife, anything like that on social media too because it could potentially put them in danger. Certain men live certain kind of lifestyles, okay? If you have a man that has a very high profile lifestyle where he has a lot of uh, material wealth um, and access and notoriety and things like that, it may be a safety thing where he may not want to divulge his personal business on social media, right? Um, people are crazy out here, okay? I don't think we talk enough about the the risk and the risks and the dangers of using social media, right? Because we use it so much, it's kind of it kind of seems like just innocent. Or maybe they old school. They not with that social media era stuff. Like I'm here to kind of navigate and jug, but I can't have my family on here because these people are crazy. Then, okay, that brings us to our last, you know, uh, candidate, or this brings us to our last category. You have the men that will not post you if you're dating them, talking to them, with them in a relationship, married to them even. Because Instagram is a dating marketplace. And if they start posting you on their Instagram, that could potentially affect the attention and the engagement that they get from other women. I mean, I know y'all knew that was coming, right? Because that's the first thing that a lot of us think, right? Oh, if he not, you know, if he not posting me, he's trying to hide me, da 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 And like I said, all of the different men that I, you know, described before this point, you know, there could be valuable reasons and valid reasons why they may not want to post you. And it may not be anything against you. It may literally just be because that is his preference. But I will say I do believe that a lot of men play games with a lot of those reasons before, which is why I said you kind of have to look at everything that they're posting, you know, and even if they're choosing not just to go back a little bit. Even if they're choosing not to post personal stuff because they're saying, well, I don't post nothing personal, ask them why not. Well, what are you on here for? To spectate? To look at everybody else post their personal business? You don't even need to be on here if you don't want to engage and interact. What is the point? You just want to spy on other people and look to see what they're doing? And are you on here selling something? Do you have a product to sell? Do you have any business that you're handling over here? Are you networking? Are you connecting? Are you, you know, with any, you know, e-commerce, exchanges? Like, you know, what are you on here for? And if he started talking about, well... I just, you know, I'm on here to just be on here and, you know, everybody got one. There are those kind of men that don't want to post you because it's too many options on the internet and putting you on his social media page is going to potentially detract from the attention that he may be able to receive from the women that he may be interested in, okay? Even if it's nothing more than just flirting with them on the internet. Instagram is a dating marketplace. You also have men that are still concerned about their homies and what their homies is going to say. When men reach a certain age, you know, hopefully sooner than later, but all men kind of get to that point at different points in time. Men are very conscious of what their homeboys feel or their homies or they, they I don't know, y'all from different parts of the country. In LA, we say homies. So, you know, those are very cognizant of what they're, and conscious of what their homies think about them. Okay, and a lot of them, the younger that they are, the more immature they are. You know, I don't want to look like no sucker. I don't want to look like I'm y'all. Look at the homie. He got his girl on on Instagram. They all booed up and coupled up. Like, that's a bad thing where it's kind of like, you know, when a dude gets to a certain age, it's kind of like, you don't have a woman. <laughs> like, where's your woman? <laughs> Why are you worried about me and mine? You need to be worried about you and yours or lack thereof. You know what I mean? But it takes a while for young men to kind of get there, right? This is the thing, ladies, okay? I am all about speaking up for what it is that you want. I don't care what it is. It could be as big or small, whatever. You do want to be clear as to why you want it, okay? So it's not just enough to say, I want this because I want it because I see other guys doing that for other women women, and it looks so cool because I'll be honest with you too. Sometimes these dudes be posting their girls on social media, but it doesn't mean anything. The relationship has no strong, the relationship lacks strong foundation. The relationship behind closed doors and off of Instagram is not as, as peachy as it looks. You know, it's a lot of insecurities, a lot of jealousy, a lot of toxic behavior potentially happening between the parties. 
So it doesn't necessarily mean that the faces that you see on social media smiling next to each other all covered up for the photo is all good. I think anybody with common sense would know that. But if it's something that you desire, let's say for the reason of feeling, you know, like you want to feel like your man is celebrating. You want to feel like your man appreciates you. You go out of your way to make your man happy. You go out of your way to um, be the best woman that you can to this man. And you would like a little grat grat gratitude. You know what I'm saying? Why can't it be public if that's something that you want? And if it's something that you want, you need to understand that there is nothing wrong with that. You just need to be clear on what it is, why it is that you want it. Even if you're saying it's for validation, you got to start keeping it real too at the same time. If it's, is, if it's because, hey, babe, this would make me feel really secure. I know it's a lot of girls in your DM or I know you, you know, you could be talking to anybody and, you know, we've gotten to a certain part of our relationship. But it would really mean a lot to me if I could see you sharing more of me on your social media because we spend a lot of time together. We do a lot of really dope stuff together. And I would love to see that, you know, I'm a part of your life on social media and off social media. I want it to match. How about that? You know what I'm saying? And if it's something that really means that much to you, then speak to him about that and kind of get his ideas. Listen to what he says. When you bring this conversation to him, do not be scared. You know, listen to his reactions. Listen to what he's saying. Listen to his words. If he's super defensive, why are you asking me about social media? Social media ain't, woo, woo, oh my God. Like, okay, you one of them. You trying to ask me about social media? Why are you so bothered? You know what I mean? You should be able to bring anything up to somebody that you're dealing with on that personal level, even social media. You should be able to receive the support that you need in that regard. Granted that you are being respectful. Granted that you are being, you know, uh, conscious of your tone and your energy and how you're coming at the the guy with your conversation if that's the case then there should be no problem with having the conversation but pay attention to what he says pay attention to the responses pay attention to what's being given back to you because it could be very telling as to why he may not feel comfortable with posting you on social media if it's something that you feel is that important that it can make or break the relationship, you definitely want to speak about that. And again, you want to start asking yourself why, because it's not just the post, right, ladies, that makes us feel a certain type of way on social media. I think it's the underlying messaging that we're looking for and this, it, that signals to us that this man is taking it seriously because you know what that currency is. The currency to showcase somebody that you're dealing with on social media, on a public platform, is essentially kind of stepping out into the world, okay? Hand in hand with somebody and saying, hey, this is my person. This is the person that I'm betting my money on at this time. This is the person that I've attached myself to. This is the person that you can align me with, that I correlate myself with, right? It's really that deep. And maybe that's a lot of the reasons why men are very hesitant because they know once they do that, that is the messaging that is gonna come across. So if a man is hesitant and to put you in that position, it may be because he does not see you in that space. He also just may not see you in that light. And even though he's dealing with you, because men sometimes will play boyfriend, men will play hubby, men will play a lot of different roles with you because it feels good. A lot of men just like to see a woman feel good, a woman to feel, you know, loved and appreciated. You know what I'm saying? Just the feeling. Just seeing a woman have that feeling, but they're not interested in sustaining that feeling. They're not interested in investing on how to, um, you know, get more of those feelings to evolve and develop into even deeper feelings and more intimate feelings and, you know, intimate relationship. They're not interested in that, okay? Uh, and it sometimes reflects in little things like this, things that seem so small, but underneath, right when we start doing some introspection into some of these different things there are reasons why we do what we do there are reasons why we don't do certain things you know what i mean and it's just something that we really have to look at we really have to think about it okay you guys so that's it i just wanted to come with a quick video real talk another real talk video should your man be posting you on social media y'all let me know in the comments have y'all experienced this do you feel like this is really that big of a deal do you feel like this really does hold a lot of weight have you dealt with situations where you've actually your man to post you on social media and he has not or y'all are we just kind of making too much of this whole social media thing should we really be kind of focusing more on the person-to-person -person interaction leaving the digital space in the virtual world to the virtual world you know what i mean and not really putting too much value and too much uh, pressure on it y'all let me know okay like subscribe share i love you guys i will see you next video peace